Huh, well that's, that's odd. <laughs> what do we have here? Look at this. I see Star Trek. I don't see any kind of maker mark on that. I don't see any, anything. Holy moly. It's gonna be the best cow I've ever seen in my whole life. We got a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh, uh -oh. this is the box that I dropped. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought a pair of lockers because I was intrigued by how old everything looked. We paid $450 and that seemed a lot to gamble. There's been a lot of junk to sift through, but we're finding some treasures. Costume jewelry, antique photographs, vintage film reels. But the highlight so far has been binders full of collectible coins. But every day brings new finds, so let's see what we discover this time. All right, you guys. A little out of breath. We're back. Okay. Yep, that's it. Pretty good, right? I won't get all this on the all those boxes on the next load, but I'm gonna get a lot of them on this load rather. Okay. Back to the elevator. Right. This is part of the reason why it takes a long time to second floor down the hall. Slows you down. I definitely prefer the drive up units. Let's get to it. I'm bringing all these boxes back home. We're gonna go through it there. We'll see what we find. All right, we're sending a hand truck full down. Normally I'd put more boxes in there, but if you see that puddle right there, we think someone peed on that last night. And I don't like putting my boxes in pee. My truck is starting to get full so it's time to start putting them in the back seat so had a little bit of an accident a couple of these fell off right here but luckily uh there was not one of these fragile boxes right here because we would hate for anything to get broken but uh yeah i'm gonna start putting them in the back seat and uh we'll see how much more we can get in there all right that's pretty low not too bad right Back seat's full. Back in the nut house. Gardner's in the background. What can you do? Just gotta get through it. Cause I got a lot to do tonight. So let's start. How about with this right here? Samsonite luggage. I don't think we looked through this yet. Okay. Blankets. Kitchen bowls and knives. Look at this. That's pretty cool. That's definitely vintage. Oh, nice. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. All right. What is that? Lodge. Lodge. Do you know that brand? It's USA. Dude, really? This guy's killing me with the blower. All right. Check that out. Lodge, USA, it says. Cast iron, that's good. Got a bunch of knives here. Nothing special. Okay, next one, Dutch ovens and strainers. Okay. There's a lot more pots. They all look like they're in decent shape. Okay, Jana's in there. She's gonna look up that cast iron pan and see what what it is. This is kitchen odds and ends. Huh. Well, that's that's an odd <laughs> odd thing to have in your kitchen. Yeah. Yes, collectibles. Oh, I, I remember my aunt and uncle had those. Huh. Those are cool. Let me look those up. Alright. I'm trying to figure out if they're used or not. They've got some little like Nicks and stuff there. Look at the bottom. They look like they've never been drank out of. Mm. It's pretty cool. Those are cool. There's a Dumbo. I remember these. It's 1994. That's 25 years. 25 years. It's been yeah. Half. So be able to, to put it at the uh, antique there. Lion King. Ooh, these are in good shape. These boxes are these great. Are these. 
It's not bad. You should look those up too. Just yeah, see. I will. I'm gonna take these. Oh, look at this French fry cutter. Yeah. Huh. The pan goes for like about $20. That's it, huh? Yeah. 20 bucks, all right? Sold for $20. Oh, wait a second. Who just asked me for this? Burger King Disney Cups. Right up. Uh, $9 for one. What? This one's? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Let me see if we can put the other little collection. Huh. Look at that. A little coffee. 25 for a set of five. Is that sold price? Mm hmm It is? Yeah. $60 for brand new for all 12. Yeah, and do we need these? Brand new. When you went through some of these before, you had these Tupperware, okay, at the garage sale. Now listen, we had them full of flour and sugar and I'm like, oh, we can't sell these like this. This is bad. I just donated a bunch of those yesterday too. Oh, I sold them for six bucks at a garage sale. What? Two of them full of old flour and sugar because they're old Tupperware. Oh, geez, I just donated money. a whole bunch. Don't <laughs> tell me that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, That's fine. The thrift store, store will sell them. They're, they raise yeah. for good money. All right, so this one says dishes. And oh, I see cups. cups. Plastic. Yeah. Oh, there's something a little better there. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. This is a set. This is a set. There's yeah. more in there. Oh, good. This is a whole set. Are these Tupperware? They look like they might be. Oh my gosh, old school. Not this kind of stuff. These are the plates that they used to get Le Menu. They were these were microwave dinners and they used to come with a plate. Do you remember that? No. We're talking eighties. That's garbage. Yeah, this is the eighties. Well this one says insurance books. Yeah, this big old set of dominoes though. That's double fifteen. Mm -hmm. That's a good set. That's it is. Those sell every time we put them out they sell. This is just a blank album. That's no good. one uses really those. Oh interesting. Yeah, trains. The guy collected lots of train stuff and clocks. Is that the clock that you have? No. Okay. But that's what he's got. These are the trains and clocks. Is that not funny? Okay. That's the kind of stuff he likes. All right, you guys, I'm going to go fast forward through this box right here. I just want to kind of give you an idea what a lot of these boxes look like. A lot of kitchen items. These people were big into cooking and baking. So we, we had a lot of uh, cookware, a lot of food, just a lot of stuff that was like either no value or dollar or two dollar items, which is why I brought a lot of it to the thrift store, which is good for them. But um, I'm not going to go through all the boxes just for time consideration because there's a lot of stuff to get through. But a lot of them look kind of like this. Neck tag for the sea, Seahawks. Uh, what is a neck tag exactly? Mm. Engravable neck tag. Someone will buy it though. Seahawks earrings. Uh. Yeah, it's not a big seller. Look at this. Oh, Nutcracker. Those Seattle. are popular. See that? 1987. I used to order stuff from their catalog. catalog. Lillian Vernon. Oops, upside down. Oh. What does it say? This box is not marked. Box. It's light, I'll tell you that much. Box of Oh, well, that's why. Here we go, folks. Why would you a store box in a box? All right, this one says Leslie's Odds and Ends glass. I like the sound of that a little bit better because I don't know, I'm getting a little tired of the kitchen boxes. So, this is some sort of candle decoration. Uh, this is someone's junk drawer. Is this Altoids or Precious Gems? Neither. What? Okay. Nails. <laughs> There's three dollars right there. Yeah. Scratch remover and a little hammer. They shopped the whole food. They shopped the whole foods. They must be rich. Ooh, is I wonder if this book is worth something, the Red Cross. Ooh, something stinks. Oh gosh. In here. <laughs> I don't know. Something stinky. Oh, those are great. I've tools. had tools that smell bad. I don't know what people do. Their tools make them smell so bad. Do you think because they've been in plastic for a long time? Maybe. These are Craftsman, though. Screwdrivers. This easily a dollar yeah, each. That's the tape measure. So, okay, here's the next box. What is this? 
I think this is wrapping paper. <laughs> Hang on. Rolled up like that. Sudoku. Yeah, that's... Isn't that the game with the paper? Sudoku is the one that you usually play in, like, the newspapers. Or, it's like a crossword puzzle. That's brand new. Yeah, let me... All right. They bought it brand new. Look at this is the label. I just opened this for the first time. They bought this online from Elverson Puzzle Company. It's probably an eBay purchase. All right, go ahead. Okay, I get to open the suitcase. All right, let's check it out. Oh, a Samsonite Montebello. Empty. empty. But it's in great shape. It literally looks new. It actually does. It looks new on the it's inside insane. and the outside. And there's two. There's a matching one. It's larger. Oh, that's kind of scratched up, though. Okay, you guys, this I think might be something really good. So right near here, it says description chess set. It's made in China. Uh, okay, so. Okay. I'm not sure why that cardboard's in there, but what do we have here? Look at this. I see Star Trek. Oh, here it says 25th anniversary edition. You see, there's all these little Star Trek chess figures in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. So I got a mirror in there, and it's supposed to look, I think, a little bit holographic. That sets into that. This is a Star Trek chess set. A very fancy Star Trek chess set. And, uh, ooh, we're gonna have to look this up. It's in great condition. So this, this, uh, they should have put something else on top of here. This is a, uh, this is where that glass board sits on top, but it also, it appears to double as a carrying case. And it's got little, insets here for all the characters but um i have a feeling there should have been some a felt piece or something that goes right here to hold them all in place and they've been moving around look at that that is really really cool okay whoa you guys look at this 250 bucks for that set this is 83 but this is just as some pieces not all the pieces these are sold prices too this is uh, 23 replacement pieces for 76 bucks. Then here's another one. Um, it looks to be complete, right? $239. Here's just the board, 161. Here's just a few pieces, a few pieces, 50 bucks. Here's a complete one. And it says right here, complete, 225. Guys, we got something good here. It looks like they sell pretty often too. Again, 150 bucks for the board. 475 what wow this is good oh uh, this one went cheap 98 bucks um this is two pieces 26 bucks this is crazy all right we found something good all right that chest set that's a good find that's the best find of today couple hundred bucks easy maybe 175 i see it's a little scratches a couple of the figures are uh tarnished but it's complete i just went through them it's complete i'm looking forward to listing that so um let's get right to the next box i'm running out of time here sewing twins fragile and that appears to be what they are sewing tins this is probably something else to do sew in here oh knitting that's cool knitting needles all right next box fragile kitchen Top, top, fragile. It's a lot of writing. All right, here's a Weight Watchers placemat. No, it's a magnet up against the wall. Write what you're gonna eat. It's funny. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Okay, it's got a little crack right here. Ow. It's a stained glass like box for putting cards in it. Well, that's what they put in it. 
what an interesting box very very interesting i like that that's gonna go to the that's gonna go to the vintage market for sure okay next box leslie's kitchen crystal fragile oh look at this he's brand new whoa that's kind of nice isn't it we got a whole bunch of them in here yeah. Uh-oh, uh this is the box that I dropped. Dang. Oh, dang. The dome broke. I mean, I didn't drop it. Who said I dropped it? Did you see me drop it? That one looks right. All right, so what do you think? Are these worth anything? Maybe I should look them up and just see, see if there's any value there. All right, there's a little bit of value in these. They are around 10 to $20 sold on eBay. This one obviously is gonna be a little bit less. Just a little bit, a little bit less. But um, the other ones will sell at the flea market. I'll probably ask $5 per set. There's what, 20, 25 bucks in here? Not bad. All right, next box. This one is not marked. It is not marked. Most of them have been marked so far, haven't they? Okay, what do we got here? Oh, heavy. Carrot cake. Oh. Huh. It's a candle. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like carrot cake. What's this? Turtle coasters. Uh-oh. We're a little shy on the coasters in the house. Oh, man. Those are cool. Look at that. That's really cool. Made in the USA, it says on the bottom. And I bet you this is from the 60s. That is super duper cool. Even comes with a little stand. Huh. All right. Why, I'm not sure why I get excited about that kind of stuff. Oh, 1970. That's the that's year I was born. That's a good year. Oh, that's cool. That's an old recipe book. I mean, uh, you know what I mean. Hmm. Yet, yet another box. This one says fragile glass. Fragile glass. Ooh, dirty stuffed animals. Wonderful. Oh, this one's actually looking way better. That's a... That's probably pretty old, this guy. Made in Korea. This a Warner Brothers. Huh, 1971. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy is... This is an old one. We're bringing that to the vintage market. Okay, this is really cool. So we found one of these in a locker. That was the mouse infestation locker. Very funny, isn't it? Found this very same thing. And uh, yeah, I was really excited about that find, but check this out. I got another one. I got two this time. This one says J.R. Clark. And this is, this is a better one. It's got like the patent mark on there. Look at that. This one's even more interesting. Yeah, that's hecka cool. So we got two this time. <laughs> I can't remember what happened to the other one. I know we sold it, but I don't remember for how much. Probably five bucks. Oh, this is neat too. Look at this. J.R. Clark, it says. And this is a very old lantern. I don't find old lanterns very often. And this one says... I can't really read it. The Adams West Lake. The Adams Westlake Company. That's what it says. Adams Westlake Company. Huh. Super cool. Oh, it's JJ Clark. JJ Clark. Hmm. Neat. That was definitely fragile. That was actually something we did not want to break. Ooh. This is cool. That's some. Some. Eh, eh. I don't know, maybe it's not as cool as I thought. Because it's got some, definitely something going on here. It's got like a split in the metal, which I don't even know how you split metal. Uh, it appears to have something missing here, like maybe another leg. Maybe there's another piece. I don't know, you know what this is? This is a skeleton clock, isn't it? Is this a skeleton clock? Is this where it has those glass domes that go over? Sits over it? I think it could have been. Hmm. I don't see any kind of maker mark on that. 
I don't see any, anything. Huh, it's pretty, pretty nice though, even still. All right, guys, get down the last couple boxes here. So this is drinking glasses. Fragile. Oh my goodness. I really packed everything in. Here's a bunch of mugs. Drinking glass. Oh, that's a crystal one. That looks nice. Oh, okay. This is a match of those... Uh, the dish set we had. Okay, that's pretty nice. This one says cow. Oh, Holy moly. It's gonna be the best cow I've ever seen in my whole life because Never spent that much time getting to it before. Okay. He is a milk uh, creamer. Look at that. Milk in there. It's got the little... I'll take that in my coffee, please. Porcelain Apilco, France. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope, actually. All right, I'd say that was worth it. That was worth it. Okay. This one says pots. No way, get out. There's pots in here. There's actually some nice stuff. Look at this. Thomas Rosenthal. And that has never been used. Christmas stuff. Amazing. Remember this one? Okay. What do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? It's a little rough. Oh, oh boy, sorry, wise man. All right, you guys, so the finds just keep coming in. Every day is a new adventure, and every day, pretty much, we're finding something good. Today was the Star Trek chess set. That was the, that was the highlight, but we found plenty of other interesting stuff. Great stuff for the, for the uh, flea market, and we're going to the flea market tomorrow. Today's Saturday. I'm about to put this video right out. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Tomorrow at the flea market, we'll see what we can get out there, um, but for right now, as soon as I upload this video, I'm headed back to the unit. We're going to clear out the rest of it and then off to the next unit I bought, which is going to be exciting as well. We'll get plenty of footage so you guys can see what happens and what we get, find in there. Exciting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit me a thumbs up, please. Show me that you like this sort of thing. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video or any future video comes out. All right, but you'll have to wait till then. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.